Hi and welcome to the channel. If you've been here before, welcome back. If it's your first time, stick around because today we're going to get checked out for skin cancer. So today we'll not be taking big red when we go to the GPs because today we're going in big green. So now here at Chelsea Street Hospital. Uh, Sons came with us today, but I need a little bit of help moving around and they weren't sure about once I've had um, the injections whether or not I'll actually be able to drive because the bit they're actually looking at is on the side of my leg. So a bit of an interesting one. Uh, just got into the hospital, realised we're actually in the wrong one. We need one that's five minutes up the road. What a <laughs> Well, take two. We've uh, now finally made it to the right medical centre, hopefully. So we'll see how we get on in there. Mm -hmm. All right. YouTube channel. Yeah. It's, it's piercing round. What do is um Where's it at? I'm just gonna put the anesthetic in, okay? So yeah. a few shots, scrap. See a bit of a sting when it goes in. Sorry. Jesus. <laughs> settle down soon. You, feel any, you might feel some pressure, but anything sharp around here? No. No? Okay. So it might feel a bit wet, okay? Yeah. Or cold. Just cleaning it. You're not squeamish then? I prefer not to watch it happening. <laughs> I don't mind watching it back. <laughs> but uh, it's like, obviously I've got to give blood quite often for yeah. the leukemia and stuff. So I'm always getting bloods taken and you know, I always end up with like trainee who, who's just come out of college who's still learning to like take blood. <laughs> and I always seem to get that girl doing it. So I don't mind if I've got to learn somewhere. Looking for a good BMI and yeah. stuff. And, they could never find me being I was having a nightmare with it. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, as I say, you've got crap on it. Yeah. I mean, that's the thing about these, about the kind of videos that we want to do, is because you get a lot of people who find out they've got mm -hmm. cancers, leukemias, and stuff like that, and then they literally just spiral downhill. Yeah. And it's, I'm not really like that. I'm one who's just like, Right, I've got it, can't do anything about it, but let's just crack on. face it, yeah. So it's a case of just trying to, you know, live what you've got, basically. It's a good uh, So it's trying, hopefully, to try and push that, push that kind of uh, mindset on others. Like I say, it must be awkward because I that can be skin is right, really tight. Yeah, it is very tight. The right area. Um, I need to cut through. <laughs> just oh split. I'm going to have to use a... Um, Biggest stitch because it is quite tight. Yeah. You're gonna need a bigger boat. Yeah, this it's very tight actually. I'm just gonna try off the thicker stitch. But it's just because you've got the uh, fluid on your legs. Yeah, both, yeah. Good job all around that one. <laughs> <laughs> it's just, uh, yeah, it's very tight. It's coming together a bit better now with these thicker stitches. But, uh, I think do, taking the whole thing off would have been difficult, you know? Yeah. Yeah. 
Okay, well done. Uh, you're not allergic to antibiotic. Yeah, no. Just like an antibiotic ointment on the top. Yeah. So, just came out. Biopsy's been done. Uh, the surgeon and the nurse allowed us to video of that, so I'll add that down a little bit later in the video um, once I've explained exactly what's been happening. So, I'll catch you in a little while. Right, so here we are back home after the biopsy. Uh, just thought I'd fill you in as to the reason why I ended up getting the biopsy in the first place. Obviously, I have different conditions. We've got uh, chronic myeloid leukemia and primary progressive multiple sclerosis and also cervical stenosis. I do actually have my whole right side is weakened from the, the MS, but what I find is that my right leg and my right arm swell quite a bit, right leg in particular, so I am on a water tablet to try and help with that. But during uh, one of the periods when the leg was swelling, I actually developed a bit of um, sort of infection on the, the shin area. So I went to see the doctor, um, the doctor then checked us out, gave us some cream to put on there. Then he was more concerned about a little red mark on the side of sort of the shin. It's something that I didn't actually notice. It's, it's in an awkward position for me to see because of the mobility. I kind of sort of bend around and get my leg up to see around that side. But it didn't actually look too bad. Anyway, he was a little bit concerned about it. So the GP at the time actually took some small photographs of it using some fancy lens, sent them off to the skin specialist. They then sent a reply back saying, yes, they would like to take a look at it and take a biopsy. So as far as biopsies go, it's the first one I've had. It didn't actually hurt. They obviously put the needle in to numb the area before they make the incision and take out the small sample. Um, whilst he put the needle in, couldn't feel the needle go in because I do have numbness in the legs anyway didn't feel the needle go in. Yes, it did sting once he was putting the whatever it was in the syringe into the leg. That did sting a little bit, but just for a couple of seconds. It wasn't a painful, it was just a little bit uncomfortable. Didn't feel anything of the biopsy whatsoever. Then obviously done the stitches. He had a little bit of trouble with the stitches simply because of that area of my leg is still a little bit swollen from the water retention. The skin is really tight and it's a part of your leg, the front of the shin, where there's not much underneath that. So he did have a little bit of a problem getting that sorted, but he used a bigger needle and I'm guessing thicker threads and he managed to get that sorted. Then the wound was dressed, put some um, in, um, antibiotic cream over it, put the dressing on, all sorted. So that sample gets sent off and then obviously in a few weeks we'll see what what it comes back as, whether it was cancerous or whether it was just nothing, nothing to worry about. We'll see what's happening. So hopefully we'll have an update in part two. So watch out for that one. Till then, thanks a lot. All good stuff. Subscribe, like, comment, anything you want. Brilliant. Thanks very much. Bye.